going to do something a little different today. Got the muzzle loader out. CVA Acura. It's an inline 50 caliber. I'm just going to get out in the woods and see if I can't get a squirrel or two with it. It's pretty accurate. And it's not what I would normally be using for squirrel hunting, but squirrel se uh, deer season's coming up. And this is pretty much all I use for deer hunting anymore as of last year. And uh, I just want to get used to the feel of it, get used to the trigger. It's got a real feather, real feather trigger pull on it. And it takes a little getting used to compared to my other guns. So I just want to get used to that trigger pull again and everything else about it. And squirrel hunting is a good way to do that. Make sure it's still accurate. Should be, hasn't been bumped around or anything. It's been stored away good. I cleaned it all up before I came out, checked the barrel, make sure there was no obstructions, checked the nipple, checked everything else. It's all good to go and loaded up. So I'm gonna hit the woods here and see if I can't find something. Looks like a good day. The sun's not out, it's not windy, and I can hear birds and things rustling off through the distance. So hopefully I'll get a chance and get a squirrel or two. This rifle uses shotgun primers. Kind of heavy. I almost forgot to load it though. Put the powder in the bullet in. Forgot to put a primer in there. Well, I guess if I can hit a red squirrel in the head at 25 yards, hopefully I can get a deer in the chest at uh, 50 to 100 yards with the muzzle loader. My bullet rises slightly at 50 yards, but it's pretty much the same as 25 at 100. Um, 50 caliber. Red squirrel. Pretty big for a red squirrel. This is that one that was calling me out the other time. Well, he won't be calling me out anymore. I don't blame him for calling me out, but I am a hunter and I hunted him. And I'm going to eat him. That's a nice rifle, man. That rifle is dead accurate, I'll tell you that much. It's uh, pretty close to as accurate as my 22. I mean, it's right there. I'm surprised. That was definitely the squirrel, though. I think there's two or three right here. But there's that big oak that he was sitting in calling me out in my last video right in the center of the screen and when I shot at him he ran over to this oak and this oak has his hole in it and he was sitting up there
he was sitting right in the center of the screen there. There's a knot below and a knot above and he was sitting right in the middle. It kind of made a little shelter for him from the rain because it is raining right now in case you didn't notice. It's been sprinkling on and off all day. But anyway, I'm not bragging about a red squirrel or nothing. I don't want people to think that. But uh, I am kind of bragging about the accuracy of that rifle. And I like it because, you know, it costs me quite a bit of money. And I don't like spending money on something that I'm only going to use for one purpose. And that purpose would be deer hunting. And I know that this rifle is accurate enough. And I can get inexpensive of enough ammunition for it that I can use it for other things like small game hunting if I want to. And not. One red squirrel coming up. Try out my fork that I carved too while I'm at it. Don't get any pressure than that. 